Greetings from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, also known as Paha Sapa, where the Native Americans, the Lakota people, come to pray for the state of the world, which needs it badly, I might say. I don't know what good prayer is going to do, though, for big number eight in 20 below zero conditions. I think, you know, they say, God helps those who help themselves. Well, we got wood in the shed. Plenty of wood in the shed. It's kind of dark in here, but I've got that light on that will stay on even if the power goes out. So I can come out here and get wood and keep from freezing to death. It's 20 below out here. So I'm going to take this venerable iPad on which I am making this venerable video into the cave, the nerd cave. Notice that the truck was running. I'm going to run that thing for a half an hour every six hours all night uh, until tomorrow when it's supposed to moderate a little bit. Now we're in the cave. Now we got a lot of stuff running in the cave. Ham radio. I just made a video and there it is. Playing it on my big screen to proof watch it. And on top of that, the actual amateur radio signals coming in on this IC746 Pro. I don't know if you can read the frequency. I guess you can't. 4.15 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. A couple more displays. There's a radio teletype contest going on on the ham radio. And I've got Digipan there showing a waterfall display of that activity. And ham scope here showing a spectrum display of that activity. Other computer shows what the stars in the sky would look like if the sun weren't out. But, you know, notice it's a clear night. It's already 20 below here, and the sun hadn't even gone down yet. This is normally the warmest part of the day. They're saying, though, it's going to get down to 17 below tonight, so I think they're going to have to revise their forecast. Great images in NASA wallpaper on the video production computer on which I made the instructional videos about MMTTY. There's uh, my web marks, my bookmarks. Well, the point I'm trying to make here in all this video, and there's the fire in the wood stove, which will... The furnace isn't even running. Furnace isn't even running. Except for the fan, which pulls that hot air up, blows it all through the house. Well, it's pretty hot air. Almost as hot as the air coming out of my mouth. That kettle of water there also provides humidity, just like the hot air coming out of my mouth, except more of it. Because when it's 20 below, you know, and you got all that heating apparatus running, you're going to have very, very dry internal conditions in the house unless you have a humidifier. And that is my low-tech humidifier, and it works! perfectly perfectly it doesn't overdo the job and it does it just enough and that kettle will also cook stew the event we have a power failure I'm gonna have stew tonight I'm gonna have stew with chili powder and onion powder and all kinds of spices to keep me warm a whole probably 1200 calorie breakfast another 1200 calorie lunch Go down to Deadwood and swim a mile, come staggering out of that pool into God knows what the heck temperature is going to have. There's the breadboard. Now that dates me, doesn't it? But anyway, here's the point I want to make. I, you'll notice I brought this iPad in from outside. I brought it in from 20 degrees below zero conditions down here into the cave where it's probably 85 or 80 above because of that wood stove. Now normally... You don't want to do that with a computer and then turn it on. If you've had your computer or your screen or your LCD sitting in a vehicle where it's 20 below and it's been there for quite a while and it's chilled down, and you bring that thing in and you turn it on, you can break that screen. The thermal contrast can shatter your LCD screen and wreck your, wreck your display. And with an iPad, that means uh, you're kind of SOL, ain't you? Well, anyway... Uh, I started inside and I didn't let this thing sit outside a long time and I don't know whether the lens would have fogged over or what else might have happened. 
it's hard to say, but here's the point and here's the advice. If you have a computer that's been sitting in a cold vehicle for a long, long time and you bring it inside, you let that thing get up to room temperature before you turn it off. And don't try to preheat it with something like this either. I'll bet you that would not provide you with the results that you sought. That is my paradigm. I'm, I'm outlining that on how to use this kind of software. Click on everything in sight. From W1GV, amateur radio station and operator. Just so you don't get all, all upset. So that's that. That is the little tidbit of advice and the yammering, and there's the black phone. Call me maybe. <laughs> Stan Jibaliskos signing off until next time. So long.